Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making the Spam Western Pasta Salad from the Spam Cookbook. To start this recipe off, I'll be taking a half of a cup of mayonnaise and adding in two tablespoons of a creamy mustard blend and a tablespoon and a half of your favorite barbecue sauce. Once that's stirred together, it can go ahead and be set over to the side for a minute while I move on to making the pasta salad. I'll be starting off with three cups of cooked elbow macaroni noodles. That's roughly a cup and a half of them dried. And I boiled them in unsalted water because the Spam is fairly salty, so I chose not to add any additional salt. In here I have a one cup of shredded carrots, three-fourths cup of diced celery, a fourth of a cup of diced green pepper, and a fourth of a cup of green onions. Although you could use regular onions here, I just like the flavor of green onions a little bit more than regular onions. And here I have one entire can of the classic Spam that's been diced up. And one cup of cheddar cheese that I've sliced into chunks. I went ahead and gave it a light toss and now I'm going to add in the dressing. This is now ready to go into the refrigerator where it's going to chill down for about an hour just to allow those flavors to marry before I try it. I did let the pasta salad sit up in the refrigerator for a couple of hours until I was ready for it. I topped it off with a few of the green onions that I had left over and now all I have left to do is try it out. I'm very excited to try this. I've never had pasta salad quite like this before and I'm curious to see how all these flavors come together and play well with each other. This is a really good pasta salad. I like all the flavors going on. The only thing I'm kind of lacking is I want a little bit more creaminess. That's something I really look for in a pasta salad. And that's easily fixed by just increasing the amount of the dressing. But overall, this is an another incredible dish from the Spam Cookbook. And something I will definitely be making again. But that is going to be it for me for the day. If you guys have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you try this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. Hope you guys have enjoyed. And hope I'll see you in the next one.